Pois é, minha amiga, meu amigo. Very well, my friends. Ou melhor, essa cena especial. This special scene is to open your eyes, my dear friend. It's to open all our eyes because the stones which were to be thrown at the adulterous woman at times are inside of your head, inside of one's head. That feeling of guilt, that feeling of doubt, that feeling which says to you, there's no way out for you, you're a lost case. These stones which came from hell are there in order for a person to quit, to get discouraged, to be discouraged from what? What did, what did Jesus do? What draws the most of our attention is that he used one word to destroy the accusations, to destroy that which makes us to take bad attitudes, wrong attitudes. But then it was also clear when he said, No one has condemned you. And she said, no. And he added, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. So this is the will of God for your life. The will of God is to forgive everyone, all peoples. The will of God is for his word to cancel, to neutralize all the stones either from men or thoughts or from hell in order for a person to have peace within herself. The word of the Lord Jesus is to alleviate, to deliver people from their sins because sin is the root of all evil. Sin is the root of all and every evil which a human being suffers. So when a person is free from sin, when a person has her conscience clean and relaxed, then she can lift her head and walk firmly because God is with her. But sin does not allow a person to be free. As long as that sin is not confessed, there the entire multitude confessed. But the word of God cancelled the stoning, the accusations. And this is what he does with you who hear and watches me now desperately perhaps with a serious problem of depression, that feeling of guilt, that accusation, that doubt from hell. Jesus said, go and sin no more. I'd like you to pay attention to the scripture of Jeremiah Chapter 48, verse 6. When God says, flee, He means flee from sin. Flee from sin. Save your lives. At times, a person tries to flee from sin. But she allies herself or communicates or lives with people who enjoy that sin. So these people end up influencing her, influencing her to sin as well. So God wants us to flee from sin, to flee from the appearance of evil that we flee from the appearance of evil. 
in order for us to save our own lives. God has given us the solution to our problems. But we need to let go of our sins. You may have noticed that in the testimonies of people who once had an experience with God, first they abandoned their sins. First they let go of sins. First they determined, I'm not going to do this anymore. And from that moment onwards, when they abandoned, when they fled from sin, they then received peace, received strength, and they began to rebuild their lives. And this is what God says, that we should be like the juniper in the wilderness. The juniper is a tree which reaches about 80 meters of depth with its roots. And although it is in the scorching heat of the desert or the cold and at night, it's, it's firm, it maintains itself firm, it does not give in to the circumstances of the heat nor of the cold. Likewise is a person who believes in the Lord Jesus. She is firm. She is solid in her faith. She has a determination. She is defined. She is defined. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants and where she wants to reach. And she maintains this way. So the problems, the difficulties, the heat of the desert, the cold, the freezing cold will by no means lead her to quit. And this is what God wants. He permits the problems to come to us. But also He permits us to resist them and overcome them. Because life, the life we want to conquer depends on our perseverance. It depends on our determination. And this you have there. Any person has determination. She just needs to put it to practice. Very well. This Sunday, we shall be focused upon people who one day they had the joy of the presence of God, but because of the deserts, because of the difficulties, because of the challenges and tribulations, they abandoned the faith. They let go of the pace of their communion with God and they tried to solve and take care of their problems. However, when a person, pay attention, you who hear me, when a person thinks that distancing from the faith, from that exercise of faith and taking care of her problems or trying to administer her problems, the more she shifts away from faith, the weaker she becomes, the more disabled she becomes to overcome the problems and overcome her needs. This is a fact, my dear friends. If you are well on the inside, you'll be well on the outside. If you're not well on the inside, you're not going to be well on the outside. Have no doubt about this. This is normal. A person, for example, who is depressed, who carries a depression, she has an evil on the inside. On the outside, how does she feel? Lost. Lost. And then he commits suicide because of this. And this is why we're not forgetting about those who are depressed. 